Okay, so far we've looked at all of these um, different information types, genre and person and um, band and song. We've looked at them um, separately as all their own little entities. But as you can clearly see, these things are all mixed together. A genre has bands and bands have recordings. And I didn't bother to do recordings in here. But bands have songs and bands have... Um, uh, bands have relationships to other bands, etc., etc. So now let's look at that, and let's look at the bigger picture. We're going to zoom out, and instead of looking at the structure of each of these information types, we're going to look at the relationships between the information types. Oh, whoops. Sorry. I went the wrong way. There. Now, this diagram talks a lot about how, the, um, how these different information types interact with each other. So, for example, a song has a genre. That's this connection right here. A song has a genre, but we also saw that genres have subgenres. So there's a relationship between a genre and itself. A genre has subgenres. A song has a genre. A song is by a band. A band has similar bands. You'll see on you can see in some of the music, uh, in some of the screens in Pandora, and especially if you bring up Pandora and look around, that when you're on the band page, it says similar bands. Right? How does it know that? Because there's a relationship from one band information item to another band. Furthermore, person, you, on Pandora, can like a band, you can like a song, you can like a whole genre. Um, and so all of these things are interrelated, and that's how that information is all composed on the screen. We have all the information about a band, and then when we put that band on the screen, we can choose to put the picture or the description or the title of the band, whatever. Um, we can also choose to put that same band information on the song page. So that way up here, when we're on the song page, this is band inf excuse me this is band information the name of the band um, when we're on the band page we can put recording information and again I didn't bother to put the recordings in here because I wanted to keep it simple but you get the idea these are all separate information types all stored separately all with their own attributes but when I construct a page when I bring them all together I can mix and match I can mix and match and bring them together because I have these relationships between the different between the different information types Okay, so let me summarize this. What I tried to do here was give you an example, a simple example of, of decomposing a site, and this is a really simple example. The life gets way more complicated. If you were to try to do Facebook or something like that, you'd see that these diagrams would get out of control and they'd cover whole walls. Um, and we'll see some types. When we look at World of Warcraft, we're going to see some types of diagrams that are similar to these that would cover an entire wall or maybe a few walls because it's so complicated the way all the information is put together that it requires a lot of space just to look at it.